Hi guys, welcome to uh, our new update for missing Texas mum Lauren Thompson. Um, we first have a interview for you. Another brave woman has come forward to tell her story about uh, her experiences with Panola County and the Carthage Police Department. But um, this particular person took me out to Holland's quarters. We went to a party. Um, I was the only white girl out there. And at that time, I was on parole and I was messed up in the head. And everything was going good for about 30 minutes. And then guys came coming up to me. I was like, you want to go in, in the back? Or I was like, what are you talking about? I'm with this person. And they said, well, that's not what he said. So I confronted that person, and you know, you know what? He got pissed off, and we left. He said, well, let's go on down here to my cousin. I was like, is what he called him. Son from the other marriage, not the white woman, and um, got in there, and I thought I was going to fall on the couch. He was like, no. He said, you get your ass in that bedroom, you take clothes off, you do whatever he says. And I was crying. I mean, I, I felt funny. I didn't know what was going on. I mean, I was just discombobulated. And uh, I can't remember his name to save my life. I wish I could because he was a lifesaver. But um, while I was out there at um, his house, his first wife, not the white one, um, he came in there and he was like, just make no he, Yeah, I was crying. I was crying so bad. I, was, I mean, I was confused. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And he was like, he said, I'm, I'm not going to hurt you, honey. I'm not going to hurt you. He said, just make noises just to, you know, get him satisfied, you know, like we were having sex. And, and he went out of the bedroom. I never got unclothed. And um, he come in there and said, come on, let's go. And that night he took me home, but the night he picked me up in Cato, he took me to his cousin's house in Holland Quarters, Lucky's, and um, we snorted some dope that night. He told me it was cocaine, and it was not cocaine. I've done cocaine, and I've done meth. Cocaine numbs your nose, but methamphetamines burns your nose. So like, like they were feeding me to like, you know, get me super excited. Right. And, um, him and his cousin were sitting over talking and he, he never, you know, let me drove his vehicle or anything. And he picked me up. I didn't have a car. And that night he looked at me. I told him, I said, I gotta go. I gotta work tomorrow. And he's like, you gonna drive? You know, I did a bit of juice turn on him. I'm like, what do you mean? Am I gonna drive? And when he, I was really, I was like, yeah, I'll drive. Cause I was ready to get out of there. And by the time I was getting into the driver's seat, he was walking like he had a amputee, something in his leg. You know, he couldn't be in his leg. And when he got in, he started and he was walking out there. And he got in and he, he, you know, his leg was hanging out the, the right passenger door. And I was like, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, I was, I was supposed to do too. You know, what the hell? So when I got to um, Carthage Motel by the Dollar General store on 59, I was like, I already knew it in the bottom of my stomach that something was wrong. And I was like, I need to go get something to eat. There's an easy mark right there. I'm on the road to easy mark. I opened the, I ran to the room, opened the door, and he got out, hobbling like he was, like an MPG. And I passed easy mark. I went straight to Carthage Police Department, and I sit in there, and there was a, a light Ford extended cab truck that was following me that way. Like it was like a getaway or just to make sure that something, you know, if something happened. And um, they kept telling me, and I was sitting in there, and I kept sitting in there, and kept sitting there. I was like, I'm not going to sit in here no more. We can't help you. There's no threat being made against you. I said, I'm telling you what this man is doing, what he's done. And I was like, you know what? I said, God, 
gave me an answer. I'm going to the hospital. And I went to the hospital. I pulled up. I parked his truck. Left his keys in his truck. And I walked in there. I said, I'm losing my mind. I said, if this man ain't fucking trying to kill me, then put me in rust. And then when car just got there, the cop tried to come in. And the doctor pushed him out. He's like, you need to, you need to step back. Step back. She's untouchable right now. Wow. And they surrounded the whole th- they, they searched his truck. There was five guns in his truck. And they surrounded the motel and they found a solid off shotgun and a regular shotgun in there. How did he get them guns in there equipped? And then later on, after I went to Kentucky for a couple of years and I came back, he stalked me. Literally. I lived at Mary Beecham's and um Maple. And there were six of them. They pulled up to my friends next door, and I walked out. My we had a pit bull, and we just had puppies. And my dog was barking really bad, so I walked out there, and he was holding my dog by his collar. I said, "You don't think I don't see you?" And I ran back in the house, and I put my kid and her friend under the bed. There were six of them out there. I put my kid and my friend, but her friend under the bed, which I'm speaking of his daughter the one I'm with now and my mom was in crisis and I called her and I said get home right now and about that time my phone blowed up and it was on that door and she was like I didn't know what am I supposed to do and they were pulling about that time we peeked out the window and they were all loaded up in the back of the blue um it was a Silverado extended cab did you recognize any of the other five guys with him uh, no, it was all his cousin. He, he kept a pistol the whole time. I wasn't scared of that. It was just the new changes that, you know, that he was doing to me. And then what happened when your neighbor called and said, what should I do? Tell the truth. Did they leave then? Yeah. She told me, she told me the truth. Um, well, I actually had a friend named... And... Please don't put her name out there. Um, Never. She was in, in the group of Bandidos, and um, I had a car incident in Longview, Texas. That it, um, it was in 2006, I think, a standoff with a one Carlos Hosso. It was over a meth deal, and he got 90 years. He served 90 years, and um, he tried to take me in Mexico and kill me said that he was trying to pay off his drug debt. And the band goes, got a hold of him and said that my name was ever mentioned again or he ever tried to touch me again, that he would be killed on time. Can you tell Karen about the, um, what, the, what Carthage police said when you tried to, um, to do something about this? Oh, yeah. They was like, you're crazy. And we, we can't, you can't prove nothing. I said, I'm sitting here in his truck right now. I said, he's at the motel room. I said, he didn't give me something. He's trying to kill me. And I was like, we have no proof. I was like, okay, you want proof? I'll give you proof. So I left. And that was when the, the blue pickup truck was sitting outside. And they followed me the whole way. And they followed me all the way to the hospital. But didn't they say but something said, like, um, you were lucky you weren't being arrested? No, they told me because, yeah, I was lucky that I wasn't arrested because I was a felon. And there was five guns in the truck. How was I to know that there was five guns in the truck? Would I be driving that truck? Just so conveniently, that day, he wanted me to drive that truck. And that was a normal everyday truck. Oh, he wanted you to get caught with them. He never let me drive. Ever. He was taking you off. Yeah, well, he was trying to, or he could kill me. And it came out later in the long run. But that's what I'm saying about, you know, because these names have been mentioned so much that it's the same ring that's going around. It's never died. Been going around and around and around that never died. Yeah. I always I look at I, the day, I always look at the common denominator in things. Huh? And whose name keeps coming up? Uh well mm. Mm-hmm. But I mean he he's a ring I mean he was a ringleader. I mean I'm not gonna lie to you my brother bought dope for me on they done dope together. We've done dope together. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I mean that's I mean he's on this but I'm gonna tell you about, you know, 
I, I want to, you know, listen to your story about I don't trust with my pinky, you know, but just, I will tell you that his son is a different denominator because he did fight for me that night. I would love to know his name because I can't remember because I, I just I put so many blocks in my brain. Understandable. I mean, he did. He, he really did. He stood up for me. Can I read you out something and see what, uh, and if you want to respond to it, you can? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is one of Kevin's, Kevin Lank's latest posts that he posted on Tuesday. Kevin Lank. <laughs> you can comment on Kevin Lank if you like. I'll read this out to you. This is his post. The right thing is usually not the popular thing. Hate, lies, and rumors come as a result of trying to do what is right. Don't fall to the evil attacks that come your way. Stand firm for what is right and let the Lord fight the battles. He's already won. What do you have to say about that? Lord, forgive me because I'm a, I'm a Jesus believer, maybe. But it's just so... What them Southerners say? God bless yourself. God bless you. Uh, yeah, uh, he, he'll forgive you. And I don't be... Oh, bless your heart. I'll say it all. I'll bless your heart. Uh, about everything. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Since he wants to be Southern about it and be all Christianity, well, bless your heart. You know, I went, you know, I actually went to church with him one day. Oh, Lord. It was the worst day of my, it was the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, um, so, let me get this straight. It is okay for a man to, you know, go after a woman, but heaven forbid something, you know, like, they were, like, trying to turn this around on you. And, yeah, because, because I, I had been a felon. Right. And that okay for him to do that. And how the hell did he get out of that? He walked yeah, away. I know. That, he walked away scot free with all them guns. But, yet they were going to turn it around on me. He walked away scot free. Pulled his record up. Somebody brought his name up. Somebody brought his name up the other day. Did they? <laughs> I don't remember how. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I need a he's got a brother. Uh, he's got a brother and a uh, cousin. Boost. I'll have to. I'll have to. Good dude. Oh, we got a new one to look yeah. up then. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> but his brother is actually a working man besides, you know, dealing dope and, you know, prostitute and killing girls and shit like that. His brother actually works. So you pull it. This is what I said to Karen before. Surely he had a, he had priors, so you're not supposed to be in possession of any firearms? Oh, firearms, right. like they told me. Right? Exactly. So how is this okay but, for him? And you're the bad person in this. I'll be trying to come after you. Right. So I did the right thing and went to the hospital, parked the truck, left his keys in the truck, and he had five guns and they found two guns on him. And they swarmed the, the motel and got him out of there. So how the hell did he walk out of there? That's not right. That was not right. Not right. And welcome to Panola County. Welcome. <laughs> you know, it, it, we're getting this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> You're not, the, you're not the first person here. Yeah, you know, it's like prison in 2002, and I've changed my ways. And but you're I'm a human being, being and, and these cops are supposed to protect you. No, they're not, because they're all paid in and laid in. I had a friend named <laughs> that, um, yeah, what's his name? Come on, baby, help me. <laughs> he took her out to um on the top of the hill where the cell tower is on the top of that hill and told her that he didn't suck her if she didn't suck his dick he was taking her to jail for dwi and she sucked his dick and went home wow her three kids or i mean that's their mama yeah they I didn't do anything how my kids would feel they need some you know some well, closure and what yeah, happens if, me, if yeah. this happens to those She's got two boys and a girl. What happens if these little girls, yeah. when they grow up, what happens to exactly. them? Probably. The next generation. Anything worse they better get the fuck out of Panola County is all I can tell them. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry for my friends, but I, I moved and I've been gone. I stay gone. Oh. I've been, I'm, I'm, 
My mom owns that property over there right over Side Group to Brief. And we can drive around to the county property he lives on, the farmhouse. But, I mean, there's people that own the um, in between. And you'll get arrested so can, by, like, if you search. Yeah, we'll get arrested, exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if they put that up for sale immediately. Yeah. With all this going on. We got a few properties to look at. Somebody needs to buy it so they can get out there and search it. That's exactly right. But Lucy, I've heard from a lot of people that he, when he was, you know, there's probably a lot of bodies out there just on his property alone. I don't even want to talk about that because there's so many people missing and they're willing to say, And the whole, like, blue barrel thing was, you know, they put humans in it or they put drugs in it and hide it in the ground, you know? It's like, what the hell? Yeah. I mean, these people are sick, okay? And I don't know if I've been in there. I know. I know my mentality. And I, I, I don't know there again. And, and I've seen what it can do to me. And, and I'm lucky to be alive. I'm very blessed. You are. I'm lucky. And if, if there's anything I can do to help, it would make me feel a whole lot better at night. Yeah. When you were doing, just coming forward and, and talking about this is amazing. You know, you, you are helping. And we, these people, the citizens, everybody, they need to hear this. This needs to be a bigger priority in, in that town right now. They need to get in there and they need to clean house. Well, it ain't the town, it's the county. It needs to be cleaned up. Yes, and that All is of it does. They need to clean up. They need to with the cops. But you can't fight the cops when you've got a record. Oh, but I will. I will. I have to stand back and watch and cheer y'all on. Well, you know, we have a lot of cheerleaders behind us, too. You know, like, there's so many people that have, have gone through this type of stuff and they were, they were threatened and yeah they knew that if they stayed in that situation or stayed anywhere around there that these people were going to kill them you know so they had you know out. and people want to say well you put yourself in that situation well sometimes you don't know no you know you're not, you can't put yourself but my in gut when you don't know my gut finally told me get the hell out or you're gonna die uh-huh. And the cops and are behind all of this. I know they are. Oh, they hate me. They hate me like four times over there. Well, I'm sure they hate me by now, too. So. Oh, they love me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, I mean, unless I go over there to visit mom's property, which she is in the process of selling, then I just don't go over there. I, I lost nothing there. and I, I mean, I lost a lot there, but I'm not going to get anything by going back. You said that was one county road down from... Yeah. Good to know. Let me say something really quick. What exactly is the right thing to do? Kevin Lake, I swear, if you're if you're listening, please, please tell me what you freaking mean by that. Because this is this is horrible. The decision of Panola should not be scared. They, they sure as hell shouldn't be scared of the police. Oh, they have to be around there. They shouldn't be scared of you, Kevin. So the... Exactly. The cartoon says bad leaders care about who's right, good leaders care about what's right. So, what is your? Uh, I, I, I want to know so bad your thought process on this whole thing because to me, it looks like you're covering up a lot, and you may even be the big person behind it. I will expose everything if I have to because this is bullshit. I'm pissed. This should not be going on. This should not be allowed. But it's okay. It, they they think this is okay. How is this okay? If I was living over there in Panola County right now, I swear, I, uh, you know what, I'm not even going to say it. Well, big citizens need to speak up. The people uh, there, stop being, I know that you're scared. I know that this is a big deal and you fear retaliation. But y'all need to stand up and, and do what's right and not by, you know, Kevin Lake view on what's right and wrong. Clearly no. Well, I'm not scared. I really, I'm not scared. I mean, because I know my Lord Jesus Christ is my savior, but. Yeah, I, you shouldn't have to go through that. You know, you can't even, you went to the police for help. Just yeah. like Lauren did. Yeah. Just like me. You know, pull up the, did you pull up the record where I came to the police station? Did you pull up the record where I had to break into my own home and got charged with burglary of habitation? They charged me for burglary habitation to break it in my own home. 
So I've been up all night editing audio and video and stuff like that, but I came across some posts I hadn't seen on Facebook, the Panola County Sheriff's Department page, and I wanted to address some of the stuff that is on there. So this is the email that Karen had sent to Lake uh, requesting um, to speak with him. So she said, I would like to speak with Kevin as soon as possible about the Lauren Thompson case. I am with a group called Voices for Justice. We are a licensed non-profit organisation who fights for the victims and their families when a crime takes place. We also do search and rescue and we do have many resources we utilise in our cases. We have a good track record and we work hard until the job is done. I would like to offer our services in the search for Lauren. Uh, it was from Karen. So the reply from Lake was this. Karen, I received your Facebook message regarding Lauren Thompson. Any resource you have available to help us spread the word about Lauren would be much appreciated by our office and certainly by Lauren's family. I am not sure what information you already have, but I will share what we have available if you have a media resource to help us spread the information. Thanks again for reaching out to us, respectively, Kevin Lake. If you notice, like, looking at this message, he's not actually asking her what resources she has um, and as far as sharing information goes the information hasn't changed since January 10th it's the same narrative uh, so as, and as far as media resources go we've learnt that they'll only allow KL TV uh, into town uh, no one else has really come in except Dateline who have, have tried to do Missing in America uh, but that's how I got onto this case in the first place because there was hardly any media reporting on it and that struck me as quite odd. And so further to address some of these Facebook messages, um, I've taken out obviously the names of people who have been typing apart from Panola County, Texas Sheriff's Office. So someone said, so four people in the car, 
three related to Mrs Fields, so Sarah Fields, uh, lead detective on Lauren's case, and one related to the landowner Briggs. So Panola saying that my information is not accurate. One person was in the car with her and two others in another car. The distant relative to Mrs Field, well, it's not distance, it's cousins. So we're not talking about third cousins twice removed and five times stuck on again. Um, it, you know, there's, there's that. And the information was only mentioned in the videos from Australia, but that's not true because there were witnesses all around. And this is on the right is the correct picture for Shelley as she goes by Tipton in this for this one for this arrest or Shelley Stone which is the original you know Shelley Moore so she was there as well um, the of course they didn't give you any information Kevin because they're involved so why are they going to mention her so that's that bit. So, uh, someone was requesting the 911 call, and Panola County has said that that has only been shared with Lauren's family at this time to protect their privacy and due to the nature of the call. Um, that's another lie. So, uh, Greg, um, I believe it's Greg's, forgive me if it's wrong. Um, I only listened to a couple of minutes of it, and that was through the Texas Rangers um, that he was able to received that he couldn't listen to any more uh, when he heard Lauren gasping and uh, he asked them to stop it since then he's not been able to listen to it again Panola County won't even give it to the Texas Rangers so another lie there so also Tori came on and and posted for this and um, kind of confirmed this that she's asked five times now um, uh, for different things and also for people to be going out and searching um, and these people have said you know I can't believe that you, you're stopping us from searching and they have said we're not refusing to let others search the area however it's private property and searchers would need to have the landowner's permission well we have that uh, from various places so you'll be you'll be seeing um some searches soon and finally for this update this is kind of something that I don't understand that the Cajun Navy has posted um, we have been very active in this case we will remain on standby until further notice the Sheriff is, Department has done an outstanding job thus far and we will continue to support them in any way we can however when you bring these two up it kind of tells a different story um, so Jeff Stewart has said he's part of the Cajun Navy uh, and they offered to come in and bring specialised trained dogs in both search and rescue and cadaver dogs and were turned down with no explanation so um, we're still here to, uh, to help Sheriff Lake it says over here um, this kind of these, this one on the right kind of contradicts what's being said on Facebook so I'm a little bit confused about that um, if anyone would like to um, explain it um, you're more than welcome to contact us Australia at gmail.com and I'll leave a comment below don't forget to sub subscribe and ring the uh, hit the notification bell to find out when the next update will be coming and they are coming hard and fast